Hello guys, I'm back again with another brand new Call of Duty mobile video and today I'm going to discuss about some essential tips for you to be better at sniping in Call of Duty mobile. This video is the second part of my sniper tips videos. If you haven't watched the first part yet, I'll link it down below. Let's get into the video. So the first thing that I will talk about on this video is the importance of muscle memory. What exactly is muscle memory? Muscle memory is a form of procedural memory that involves consolidating a specific motor task into memory through repetition, which has been used synonymously with motor learning. When a movement is repeated over time, a long-term muscle memory is created for that task, eventually allowing it to be performed with little to no conscious effort. This process decreases the need for attention and creates maximum efficiency within the motor and memory systems. And how does muscle memory affect your sniping? When you develop a muscle memory, you will not be required to think while sniping. It's more efficient and effective. It comes up with your subconscious mind. Second, if you have the muscle memory, you can easily execute quick scope and blank scopes with little to no effort. Just take a look at Whoopi for example. He has achieved his peak muscle memory and that's one of the prime reasons why sniping is like icing in the cake for him. He really makes it easy when in reality it is pretty difficult and it requires a lot of practice. You might be asking, how can I achieve this stellar type of muscle memory? Is it possible? Always remember that they are humans too. Of course, with practice and perseverance, everything is possible. Here are some of the tips that I have for you guys based on my experience on how you can achieve muscle memory in sniping. First, I have mentioned this in my previous videos, is using the right sensitivity and settings. If you find the right one for you, don't change it. Use it so that you could build a muscle memory with it. Second is just by playing a lot. What I did when I'm new to sniping is I spent my time finding the right settings. Then I went to practice versus AI, then public matches. And when the time came that I feel to myself that I'm confident enough to snipe, I played with a sniper in rank matches, tournaments, and scrims. Second thing that I'll be talking about is to know your role as a sniper in your team. Your role as a sniper is simple. Take long-range engagements, support your teammates while they are pushing, in search and destroy matches, you are the always the first to pick. You are the first to slay or be slain. Understanding the role of a sniper is important in order to become a good sniper. It's a high-risk, high-reward role. And being a good sniper isn't necessarily just about quick scoping and blank scoping. Don't let these ignorance bother you for calling you a noob for hard scoping. Hard scoping is not cheating, it is part of the game so use it to your advantage. The last tip I have for you guys is always to remember to warm up before sniping. This helps you to have a better performance in game so that you'll avoid missing your shots and hit those nasty quick scopes. I'll get more in depth in warm ups in future videos. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed or learned something, make sure to drop a like, comment down below on what you'd like to see next, and subscribe as we are so close to 1k subscribers. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.